All right, hello, this is Will Sullivan with Sullivan Auto Trading, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a walk around on this 3500 series 15 passenger van. And my goal here today is to touch on a lot of the things that really stand out to me in terms of uh, any type of cosmetic damage and also point out uh, some of the things that, you know, are extremely nice on this vehicle or different than, in, uh, than a lot of them. So um, as we discussed before on the phone, uh, a lot of my vehicles, I actively seek out for these at, uh, at GSA sales um, just because of uh, the return that I get on the money that I spend on them. I typically am delivered a, a quality product uh, and something that's been lightly used. And uh, with the miles as low as this, I don't imagine to find many things wrong with it. Uh, but with, you know, commercial style, it's almost on the commercial end uh, type of vehicles like this, uh, sometimes there can be, but a lot of people getting in and out, you can't have some minor stuff. So uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna start from the front. Uh, looking at, uh, just painting the front bumper, everything looks good. Uh, no major scratches or dents. Uh, the plastic appears to be in very good condition. As we pan along here, uh, that right there is just a watermark. That's, um, the headlight housings, These, this is really important to me. It's one of the first things that I look at on a vehicle just because these, when these are foggy, when they're hazy, when they haven't been cleaned or the car hasn't been garaged properly, it can really just make the entire vehicle look, uh, look bad. So I uh, always like to, to get a good, nice shot of those so you can really see how clean and clear those are. Uh, moving up to the hood, uh, no scratches or major dents on the hood at all. In fact, it looks very, very good. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll start around the, uh, the driver side and then continue on to the passenger side and then we'll go right in, inside the vehicle. Uh, the fender of the vehicle is in great shape, no scratches or dents. Uh, going down here to the tires, uh, you can see my finger in there. These tires probably are at about 90 to 95%. Uh, they look great. I don't see any signs uh, of, any, of any dry rotting. Uh, this tread looks really good. Uh, it's impressive. So uh, the door right here, this is the driver's side door, looks very good. Uh, looks like that, just from sitting outside, it looks like that's bird poop. <laughs> I thought that might be a little bit of damage, but, um, and there is some type of line right here. And then what this sometimes is, is the, these are just, it's basically iron. And, and uh, it can just be stored up here from water and start to run down. Um, that's probably gonna wipe off. Um, but if it doesn't, uh, I can get more of an answer of what that mark there is on the door. Some light scratching along the inner part of the door here. Nothing major, but I just think I, I should point that out. Probably not gonna see that on the pictures. And then some light scratching uh, in the entryway, uh, which is also very common with this because the foot goes right here, um, steps up on that and just those just tend to scratch up. But overall, looking at the bottom rocker panel here, rocker panel looks very good. I don't see any rust or anything like that. So continuing back to the body, uh, no dents. As we pan this, try to get an angle where you can see down the side of the vehicle. I don't see any dents at all. I do see a scuff. Where'd it go? It's a minor one. If you get the right angle here, you can see a little bit of a scuff mark here. And it probably at some time brushed up against something, but it didn't hit it hard enough to where it dented it. Uh, but that is there. I just need to point that out. Uh, and that's going to be along the bottom right there and here. But as you step away, it almost disappears. Um, but that is there, so a light scratch uh, in the side. And then looking at the bottom here uh, of this, I guess would be considered the quarter panel of this vehicle. Everything looks good. No rust or anything like that. In fact, while we're under here, we can get a shot of underneath. The vehicle looks great. Um, no rusting anything that I'm concerned about. This, all of that you see right there is very normal. Spy, uh, spare tire seems to be about new. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue around at the back. It's a little bit of a tight space here. So I'm gonna have to shoot from an angle. Uh, rear bumper is in good condition. Looks like it ha does have a light mark here. 
Uh, nothing too crazy. It actually appears to be a little bit worse on camera than it is in person, but there is a little bit of a dent right here on this back bumper. And the other side looks pretty good. Now shooting from the passenger side corner up, you can see panels are very straight, no dents. Looks good. Down here, no rust, no damage. And then as we get here, some real light scratching along here. This is what appears to be to me, brush scratches. Uh, because this vehicle is so long, uh, it looks like you may have, you know, taken a turn, may have scratched, scratched a bush. Uh, it could be anything because it kind of continues on here where they've done a pretty good job matching the touch up here. So uh, again, one of those things was you step back, it kind of disappears, uh, but it does have some light scratching on both sides. I'm missing the same area and another kind of light scratch right through here that's been touched up. And um, one thing I will point out is a dent right here. Um, we have our dent guy coming out to this evening to pop this dent out, but I will point that out. And you can kind of see that that scratch that's on the side here kind of continues there. It has to be like some type of rush scratch, but I don't think it kills this van. Um, and honestly, because it's dark and this is an ultra, uh, ultra heavy HD lighting, I just don't see it, you know, it kind of disappears. It's there, but it's just not super noticeable. All right, opening up the door here. I'm gonna get a look inside. Um, inside, this vehicle is super clean. No stains on the seats. As you can see, I think the pictures uh, that you see online are a pretty accurate representation of this vehicle. Uh, carpets are very clean, it does have the GM mats, um, buttons are not banged up or scratched up, all the keys come with the vehicle. And then we'll go ahead and pop the door here. Liner is very clean. And then the entryway, uh, which are typically very scratched up, uh, are not in this vehicle, which back to our conversation about this being a government vehicle, um, I bet there was more driving uh, done around whatever government installation um, that they had this at uh, and a whole lot less passengers. So uh, the only reason I say that is just because there's just uh, there's more evidence of the driver getting in and out than there are any passengers ever sitting in the seats or you are getting in and out. So um, it's very lightly used. The inside uh, of this vehicle I would probably give for the year, I would probably give a 9 out of a 10. I can't really find much wrong with it. Uh, the exterior of the vehicle does have some light scratching, but I think overall I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's just, and if, if it didn't have those scratches, it would probably be a 9. I just think it's for the, for the money, especially in a limited market like this, uh, finding a 15 passenger is near impossible, it seems like. And this is a very, very clean, very low miles vehicle. Um, I would recommend this vehicle. So uh, I hope this video kind of uh, showcased uh, truly how clean it is. Along with point out some of the imperfections that you wouldn't be able to see in pictures. So please give me a call back if you'd like to proceed. Um, I can send you a credit app uh, again, um, or you can just click the link that I already sent you and fill that out and shoot me a text back if you want to move forward. Thank you so much for your time and the opportunity.